Here's another myth that we are constantly bombarded by, that asylum seekers are queue jumpers. Well, there's normally a couple of queues in Iraq next to the pool table. But if the ones that are coming over on the boat not only put themselves and their families at risk, but they're seen as illegal immigrants because they're, com they're not coming in through the right doors. I think they're just desperate so they don't know that there's a queue and they just leave because that's what they think the right thing is. I think politicians, you know, a queue is something to get people to rally behind. We need to look more at, um, at how we can treat asylum seekers more like people rather than a number that's um, that's in a queue to, to come in and, and seek jobs. They're not jumping in a queue if they get treated and observed the right way. To survive, you've got to do the best you can. So I don't think it's fair when you're in a position where you're trying to save your family and your own life and people are questioning um, your methods of escape. We really don't know where that queue is and if there, and if there is a queue, it, it sounds like it's about 15 years long. Oftentimes, there is no queue to join. People are choosing between life or death. What would you do?